The University of Tennessee Medical Center is our region's only academic medical center. Our mission is to serve through healing, education, and discovery. Our goal is to share the knowledge of our physicians and staff in these health education videos as you make healthcare decisions for yourself and your family. Duchenne's disease is a common hand condition that uh, mainly people are born with. It's a problem with the connecting or connective tissue in your hand. Normally your hand has a layer of connective tissue on the palm which connects the skin and allows it to, to be firm so you can grasp objects. And there's a whole layer of this tissue in the palm of your hand and going out into your fingers. People with Duchenne's disease have a predisposition to having this tissue start forming what's called collagen or the connective tissue in your hand. So what they see usually is a knot in the hand that's usually tender for a short period of time and then about half the people, that's all that happens. They have a knot that's painless and just stays there and doesn't bother them. The other half though, the tissue may spread. It may start growing down the finger and actually contract or draw the finger down. The most common fingers are the ring finger and the pinky finger. You see it occasionally in the index and the middle finger. So what will happen if they contract is their fingers will start bending down and you can't straighten them out. They're fixed. There's nothing you can do other than doing something to remove the tissue. Duchenne disease has no known cause. There is a large genetic predisposition. The most common people that get it are people from Scandinavia, also people from Scotland, England, and Ireland tend to have a high incidence of this disease. Uh, here in Tennessee, we have a lot of people of Scots-Irish descent, and so it's a fairly common condition to see. Essentially, it's, it's a genetic predisposition. By that, just because it's in your family doesn't mean you'll get it, but you have a higher chance of getting it. And there are a lot of people that have the disease that can't recall any relatives, which means probably some distant ancestor got it that they didn't know about. There's really no known cause as far as injury, medications, uh, any kind of association with any sort of drugs or, or any certain activities. In the past, really, the only treatment for Duchenne's disease was surgery. There was nothing you could do to prevent the contracture from occurring, and in fact, there's really nothing you can do now to prevent the disease from progressing. Once the disease has progressed to the point where a contracture occurs, then you can treat the contracture in different ways. Uh, up to about three years ago, surgery was pretty much the only option. You could make a big incision in the hand, for instance, if it ran from here to here, they would have to cut your hand from here all the way to the palm and remove all of the diseased tissue to straighten the finger out. Fortunately, over the last several years, uh, they've come up with a medication where you can actually inject the medication into the cord or the tissue. You have to wait about 24 hours and then you can numb the hand up and you can actually straighten the finger out without doing surgery. I think this has been a huge advance in the treatment of Duchenne's disease. Now we can get people's fingers straight without putting them through a really big, uh, difficult surgery, both for the surgeon and for the patient to get over. If you have to go through the surgery for Duchenne's disease, it can be a very long and drawn out surgery. The skin is very thin and oftentimes there's problems with the wounds healing. Um, I would say probably it takes people a good two to three months uh, to completely get over the surgery and oftentimes requires a great deal of therapy. If you choose the injection treatment, uh, it's probably about three to four weeks of soreness in your hand, uh, but I think the recovery is much quicker. Uh, there's no incision. There's some, usually some bruising and tenderness which goes away probably within about three to four weeks. We hope you'll join us soon for another medical moment. Visit utmedicalcenter.org or call the Healthcare Coordination Office at 865-305-6970 to learn about services available at the University of Tennessee Medical Center.